all right ladies and gentlemen welcome welcome back to the channel thank you all so much for coming over if you guys are new here welcome on in man i appreciate all the love and support if you guys are asking about these shirts link is in the description appreciate all the love and support man shout out to all the good humans now whoo you know rock metal uh and rap music versus we just gonna say versus and what i mean by that is i i think now i'm i'm comfortable enough to consider myself qualified to give my input on this growing up listening to all the hip-hop music i did and now doing these reaction videos and really understanding uh, how lyrics are very very important and very similar um you know i encourage people I, I i've done a video a little similar to this but i really encourage people to open up their mind more because you'll be surprised at how many songs can relate to you if you just give them a chance but uh you know since i've been doing these reaction videos man and just discovering all this great music thanks to you guys um i feel it's really really important for people to understand that it's all about delivery um how do you connect with your audience you know like i love old school hip-hop the music i'm trying to think of the year what year it was in the 2000s when it kind of for me took a dive like i couldn't really it just sound too repetitive you know everybody was pretty much talking about the same stuff um the beat was just different you know what i mean in some way shape or form the complete story was the same it was just a different beat um what i learned about rock and metal although it's it's louder it's more aggressive um it's not as violent as a lot of rap music i might hear you know i know the drugs just from a drug standpoint it might be more intense you know as far as uh things they sing about uh stuff they've used in their personal life versus like i know weed and stuff like that because you know growing up where i did um you would see how people would look how their bodies would react to certain drugs and you'd be like oh hell no and i feel like in in rock music it was almost like a trend to to experience that high whatever that high was you know what i mean um and i feel like you know talking about girls and cars and money you know is pretty much the same i just think in rock music they were really 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 living that life um versus in, versus in hip-hop and rap to me when they talk about monies and, and money and girls and stuff like that is is more of a like to one up each other you know what i mean like like oh you got 10 i got 20. you know what i mean whether it's a car or whatever the case may be it just seemed like and and when i listen to rock you know like it just seems more like a real lifestyle that like when they would party they would party hard and like i said i know because a lot of times you know depending on what they were doing at these parties man like they were really living these lifestyle like the life of a rock star you know what i mean but um like i always say for me it's all about um 
the delivery. It's that's what separates the two. But a lot of the lyrics are the same. You know, I just it's just crazy to me. Like I never thought I would be at this point today where <laughs> I'm craving more rock than rap. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is that I don't think music has changed me. I think music music has allowed me to uh, learn more about myself. To you know, when you expand your mind, you're just like, because I'm learning a lot. When I listen to rap, I'm not really learning nothing because I've seen it. You know what I mean? I've seen a lot of the things that they talk about. I think that's why I'm at a standstill. Like, I'm kind of like pushing back because it's like, okay, been there, done that. You know what I mean? But just hearing someone talk about stuff in a different delivery, like, you can have a rap song and then you can have a rock version of it. And for somehow the the rock version, because of the emotion that they put in the lyrics, it just feels more believable. Like you can feel the connection more just because not not saying it's forced upon you, but it's just when they sing a certain lyric, like they 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 sing it the way it should be said. It captured that emotion. Uh, trying to talk slow, trying not to fumble over my words. Um, but I do enjoy rap music from time to time. It's a few artists out there that uh, I listen to. But like I said, when I'm in a car, I only listen to K Day. That's why when you come to this channel, you don't really see. I know there's a lot of reactors that react to like a lot of the trendy hip hop. Like when some come out new, like the baby and all. I'm not really a fan of all of that. I'm not. And I'm not just going to react to it to get the views for it. I'm just not into that music. Only because I already know what it's going to be about. I already know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is is pretty much is pre predictable. Rock music is more of a surprise because I want to see how I want to hear the screaming, the yelling, just because it 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 hits you harder. Like it it sends like these goosebumps through your body, you know. And you get you get the drums, you get the the guitar solos and stuff like that. And that's something I didn't grow up with. So today, as a forty one year old man. I am craving that. So I would just say for people to really open up their mind and just be more, um, you know, like really try to listen to this, to music. You know, it, it, it really has had a positive effect on me outside of this room. Cause I, I can honestly look at people different. Like when I walk down the street and I see someone with a rush shirt on, I literally look at them and like, I'll say back in the day, I would walk by someone with a rush shirt and I didn't even know what the hell it was. Now when I see them, I kind of smile and be like, I'll literally say, hey, love rush. And they'll kind of look at me like, huh? <laughs> you know? You know, you, you see these people like wearing shirts, wearing these bands, and I, I get it now. I understand. Even with, with rap, too. Like, if I seen somebody walking down the street with an LL Cool J shirt, I'm like, oh, yeah, run DMC, you know. But I really understand how y'all feel. I feel like I'm a part of this, this rock metal world now. I know I got a long ways to go. I'm just saying the transition like for me going from rap now to just craving this is just incredible i never thought i would be at this point um you know because i get a lot of requests for a lot of new stuff 
um, from time to time, I'll listen like Bruno Mars, stuff like that. But uh, it's a lot of stuff that's kind of predictable, especially now since I'm understanding music better. Uh, and you can sometimes tell by a title, a thumbnail, just whatever the case may be. Some things are just really, really predictable. I like to be surprised, you know. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to touch on. Yeah, just wanted to talk about a little bit about my journey. How I compare the two now. You know, remember, this is coming from a guy who was like doing this to metal. Like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. So think about that. Uh, but yeah, got some reactions to get to. Hopefully you guys will stick around. Again, I appreciate all the love. You guys liking, sharing, comment, subscribing, requesting. Again, there's a lot of music out there to get to. Uh, and I just thank y'all for your patience. I know I, I can't get to everybody's requests right away. I try my hardest. I mean, <laughs> I'll be uploading four or five, six videos. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, man. So I'm, I'm just, I'm making this video to mainly uh, give a shout out to all the metalheads out there all the yacht rocks all all of you guys that whole genre just all you guys i appreciate y'all and thank y'all for pulling me in and guiding me in the right direction appreciate y'all peace out